It's 2.30 uh, in the afternoon. Uh, I just finished uh, putting together the Wendy's Baconator uh, cut and raw video. I'm gonna put that up today. Uh, I haven't pretty much left my desk all day, which kind of sucks on a Sunday. I'm debating, procrastinating whether or not I'm gonna go for a bike ride in the kitchen. I should. Uh, and then I also put out a question on Instagram, Vine, Snapchat, uh, just checking to see who uh, is coming, uh, whether you're a viewer or you're a YouTuber, uh, coming to Playlist Live, which is April 23rd and 24th. Uh, I'm going to be on the, there on the 20th, uh, and then I'm going up to Gainesville to do a collaboration with uh, list 25 for like a day and a half and then I'll be coming back to Orlando on the 23rd uh, no 22nd 21st at late afternoon I'm staying because that's when hotel starts on the Thursday uh, and then I'll be meeting up with where's my challenge they're the only people I know youtuber wise that is going to playlist live so I thought I'd put that question out there to see who responds back because uh, I don't they're the only ones who I know are going. Uh, anyway, so second glass of water. I'm on my second glass. Ding. Mm. Um, and then I'm gonna try not to touch the computer again for the rest of the day. Whoops. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bike ride. The, the problem with doing a bike ride is it makes you it makes you crave food because now you're starving afterwards. So and I'm trying to. A lot of people I know who have lost weight, they, the only thing they did was change their, their diet and uh, that's how they lost weight. They didn't actually have to exercise. Uh, I like exercising, I like bike riding, so that's a bonus. Um, so let's do it. Is it really seven o'clock? Wow. So it's seven o'clock p.m. I didn't think it's that late. I thought it was only six. Uh, but I've been working on some proposals and things for things that are coming up, uh, business stuff. And uh, Ben just texted me saying, can you come down to get me? And uh, I was supposed to go and work out. I told him I might go work out and then I'll pick him up on the way home. But uh, I told him I'm at home right now. So I'm going to go zip down, get Ben, come back here, have some dinner. Uh, I'm not sure what we're having. We'll probably have something to do with our sourdough bread. And... Uh, we, Carol and I had, I should have videotaped it. We had the the Cracker Barrel sourdough bread with um, with chicken and lettuce and uh, mayo. And it's, it's one of my favorite sandwiches of all time. Very, very good sandwich. If you ever pop into a Cracker Barrel, make sure you get, if you want to, if you want, Lots of flavor and lots of calories. Not that you want that. Uh, I'm just getting the lighting proper. Here we go. Uh, go for the uh, the fried chicken uh, tenders, tenderloin on sourdough bread grilled. Uh, that's the best if you want to not have as many calories. Then go for the uh, the grilled chicken because it's, it's almost as good, but it is good. Uh, so that's what we had. It snowed about at least an inch. Don't know why this crazy dumbass Canadian weather. So I'm gonna have to like sweep that off quickly before I uh, get to the car. So I'll take you with me. Let's go. Oh boy! Feels like December or like an uh, like a late November snow. Got the uh, defroster on full blast. Try and help me break up that ice put my scraper away thinking that there was no more winter. Who knew? Uh, another thing too is I'm glad I haven't put my my summer tires on yet because it, start, it was starting to look like, hey, take off the snow tires, you're wasting precious rubber on the snow tires. And I'm like, uh, luckily I'm lazy and a procrastinator, procrastinator. And uh, yeah, so. I have to like look, start looking up deals on on 17 inch tires for this car because the ones I have are pretty much shot. All the drag racing that I do, you know, breaking the law, breaking the law, do do do, breaking the law, breaking the law, do 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 do. Who sings that? 
leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, so... I got lots of stuff done today. I shouldn't have been working on any of that stuff, but hey, when you are an, an entrepreneur, not an entrepreneur, but an entrepreneur, uh, you have to work 24-7, 365, till you die. <laughs> oh boy. So tomorrow I'll be putting together the Monday's video, which is the Burger King Red Whopper, the angriest Whopper ever, and hopefully I can get that done, and then I can do the cook and review, get that done, that would be awesome, and if I can squeeze in Friday's video, which which is the uh, Arby's video, I think I can turn that down now, yeah, there we go. Nice. Whoa, too many times. The uh, Arby's Euro kerfuffle video. And then um, I might be doing an A&W for the following Monday. And we don't. I'm not sure what we're doing off the top of my head yet. Paul keeps changing his mind what we're doing for cook and review. So I don't know what we're going to be doing this week for next week. And there might be a burger place I might be doing from Markham. We'll see. See if I have time. But uh, yeah, this is my schedule for the week. Hopefully I can get lots of done at the beginning of the week. And then Wednesday I'm going to be going to a friend's house who's helped me in the past to do some music compilation type things. And again, I want to do like a parody of Justin Bieber's um, What Do You Mean song, but call it I Eat Poutine. And we'll throw it up on my big channel and watch everybody go freaky. Why'd you put this stuff on this channel? If you're not eating in your car. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So gas is uh, 93.3. And uh, luckily I'm still full. I'm just full of it. The gas, that is. Gasoline. Petrol. Fuel. I'm just revving this engine. All right, let's go get Ben. Well, it is absolutely chaos craziness out here. And as you can see, we're coming up to somebody who's in the ditch. I always uh, make sure I can see them on a cell phone. And if they're not, like last year when that lady was car was upside down. Those two people. Did you guys phone? No, okay. okay. All right. So they're okay. They're just a little stuck, which is good. Always got to make sure your fellow man or woman in that case, uh, is okay and she waved me off that's good they got they came really close to that ditch man a little bit further they would have rolled it wow and there was that lady last year who rolled it and it was on its side and she was pregnant that was the first one on scene running through the deep snow jumping up on top of the vehicle opening the door being the hero <laughs> dragging her out of there oh man she was okay though which is good oh boy crazy weather it's like really icy if I if I tromped on the on the uh, brake right now stomped on the brake I would careen out of control that's how crazy this slipperiness is I'll keep videotaping just in case <laughs> just kidding well I got Ben in the car Ben say hi Hello. And uh, I'm not letting him drive because this is too chaotic right now. And luckily we're behind a snow plow and he, it doesn't look like he's putting down any sand. I can't f hear any sand. Maybe that on the left there is the sand. Not sure, but... Uh, I don't think we're, are we expecting more snow? I know it's supposed to be cold this week. It's supposed to be like 10 centimeters or something really stupid today. And then something tomorrow. I hope it just freaking gets warm again. Jeez. Yeah. 
I told people, you know, today is Melanie's birthday. So the year she was born, there was a snowstorm. The year after, on her first birthday, there was a heat wave. So I remember driving out to uh, Georgetown and it was a heat wave. We had to have the windows open and we're all sweating in the car. So Ben was wondering why, whoa, this guy, oh, okay. So Ben was wondering how plows don't get hooked. See, no, you can't see it from this angle. No, I, was, I kinda, I so think look I now, look now. See the little thing behind the back? Yeah, okay, so the skis aren't like on like the front, they're like no, they're, behind the plow. They're just, just so behind the, the plow. Like here, and then it's like here. Yeah. And this is what contacts the ground, okay. So Ben was wondering, you know, here you are, at, uh, a plow driving down the road and the front of your plow hits a crack in the road or a pothole or something, the road changes altitude. <laughs> so he's thinking that you'd hit that and either you'd wreck the plow or the plow would end but up obviously. endo or, or, th or yeah. whatever. But obviously it doesn't happen. So what precaution did they take? Yeah. So Ben was never knew that they actually are, there are skis two skis usually just behind the blade that keep the blade off the ground an inch, half inch. I don't know. I'm not a plow guy, so I don't know. Hmm. Uh, you ever see a plow guy? Talk to him first. Yeah. See what happens. See what it is. How I, many... I talked to a, a guy who delivering gas one time, remember? And you're oh, like, yeah, I go, I'm going to ask him. Ben's like, no, man, don't. Ben's he's like, going to look sketchy. He's going to look sketchy. Yeah, you're you're going like to scare the guy. Throw it into the yeah, thing. that's right. They're gonna, you're going to freak the guy out. I'd be nervous but if he I... He's super, super friendly. Yeah, but I'd be nervous if I was putting gallons upon gallons of gas into a bigger gas holding chamber. And some weird and guy. And some walks guy comes up and says, So how does this work? If you're smoking right? a cigarette, I'd be worried. Yeah. If you were smoking a cigarette or you look like a pyromaniac, you yes. had fire all over your shirt. Yeah. You and were you, on fire. And you're holding like a flamethrower, I'd be a little concerned. You have a torch. A torch. Unlit cigarette. Do you have a light? Get the hell away from me, boy! <laughs> Just takes it up and starts spraying the yeah. gas. It catches on fire. Well, anyway, uh, it's uh, looking like a winter wonder night. What what month does it feel like right now? Is it been? January. No, I said I said end of November. Sometimes looks like this. We didn't get snow. In, no, no, this but, year. This is where our January should have looked like. Yes. Or like late January. No, but because there's no accumulation on the on the ground, like a, a like a. A, like a foot of snow. That's why I'm thinking it looks earlier in the February. winter year than later in the winter year. This is like maybe late February. Yeah, maybe. February. February. It's like li library. <laughs> it's a library. No, I'm good. Uh, I'm getting interested. I just thought okay, it go. to reverse. What? I don't know what to put. I'm just going to take it out. Second. That's third. Oh. Or fourth. I put it in a second. First. Go. Nice. Okay, okay here we go. Ready? Oh. Second. Nice. nice. All right. Third. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's how you'd have to do it. Actually, no, it's even backwards. Okay, fourth. Uh, it's even more backwards, I think, if you're in England, because it's not set the same way where the first gear is off to the left. It's closer to you. So first, so first gear is over here. First gear is over here. That makes sense though. Because right. It's just like you kind of like, it's symmetrical. When I was in, uh, when Caroline went to Bermuda, uh, Barbados, I had to drive um, a car with, it was standard and you drove on that side of the car. There was a right hand steering car and it was manual. So I had to drive with a stick shift uh, with my left hand. Weird. All right, we're going to home, have some food, eat up some of that sourdough bread. Yes. And uh, watch. Ben has to read at least one chapter of a, of a book so that he's caught up. And then we're going to watch, hopefully, I'm not sure if you're interested or not, but Megan wants to watch um, Wesley Snipes' Blade with me tonight. Oh. Cool. Peace. All right, guys, to finish off yesterday's vlog, uh, got home with Ben. Uh, we ate leftovers, pizza, and stuff like that. And around 9, 9.30, uh, Megan and I, she wanted to watch that uh, Blade movie, but she missed 
she screwed up the names, and so it wasn't Blade, it was Daybreakers. Um, it was Ethan Hawke and William Defoe and a whole bunch of other people. And uh, it's the one where the vampires have harvested all the humans, or almost all the humans, and now, of course, there's some vampires that think this is wrong, and they find a cure for being a vampire. So it is definitely a go out and watch it now. Uh, it's one of my favorite vampire movies. Just love the whole premise of it because that's what would happen if vampires took over the world. They'd run out of humans and then they would all die. So Carol's leaving right now. Uh, so we watched that. I cheated, had a little bowl of chips, but I've only been drinking water. I haven't had any beers in the last four or five days which is a uh, huge calorie intake. And Carol's leaving now, so that's a wave bye-bye. Bye-bye. Did you guys wave? Good. Say hi, Sam. What did you do last night? Did you want to do a, a revamp of what you did? You slept? You did nothing? Good. All right. And now it's time for happy birthday shoutouts for Monday, April 4th, and they are Riley, Keenan, The Andy, Emmanuel, David, Ryan, Dylan, Mike, Kara, Carson, Anya, and Josh. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner. Whether you ate in or you ate out, inquiring minds want to know. Happy birthday.